Before we begin, I want you to put down your scribble. Excellent. You made the right move. Just a couple more things and you'll pull your family out of poverty. I really hope so. Attach this to your chest. Our scientists require us to do this to see everything that happens in the enclosure. Scientists? I thought this was a zoo. True. Never thought that the smart Alex belong right in the zoo. <laughs> hope you got the joke. Excellent. Now let's get started. First, grab your personal PDA. It's necessary for interacting with all the work objects. Congratulations, you've taken the first step to becoming a part of our close-knit zoo family. Wait, what's this for? You'll find out later. Mike? Good. Get up. It's time to get to work. What the hell? What did you do to me? I took care of your health. Working with animals requires prevention. You wouldn't want to bring some infection home, would you? By the way, I took your phone as well. I'll return it in the morning after the shift. So I got the job? I thought we had an interview. My wife is waiting for me outside. The job will be yours if you make it through the night. Let's go. I still have a lot to show you. spacious here. Yep, this is our hub. You'll have plenty of everything here, except time. Now we're in the cold room. Here we store herbs, vegetables, and while the meat gets ground into portions for the animal rations. And right now we're running low on herbs and vegetables. Got the hint? Get to it. You can find the instructions in your PDA. Most of the bricks will be left as a reserve, and take these ones with What was that? There's something in the here and here's our K-A-T-I-E, Kinetic Automated Transport with Innovative Engineering. Katie will take you around the zoo. This is the refrigeration compartment. You need to load the brick trolley here. To load it here, Katie won't budge. To load the brick trolley, you need to activate the lever. Aboard! Now, select the giraffe enclosure on the control panel and train. the giraffe station. Now, hopefully, I won't repeat it twice. This is our mobile veterinary station. Here, you'll be mixing medications for our animals. Are they sick? Well, they can be. We need to closely monitor the health of the animals. We have some quite rare specimens, so the thought of anything happening to them is out of the question. Take this seriously, and we should all be safe for another day. Follow me. This is our kitchen factory. To collect feces for tests, you have to feed the animal its favorite food. Here's where you'll prepare it. Choose the recipe from the list. Cut. Made on. Any questions? Yes. Excellent. The <laughs> zoo needs those who aren't afraid to ask. But even more so, it needs those who find answers themselves. 
All right, enough chit chat. Go to the cutting table. You need to select the germ from the list. Don't make a mistake with the weight. The exact measure. Excellent, Paul. Cut. Now do the same with the herbal brick from the recipe. Go ahead. No, Paul, that's too much. No, Paul, that's too much. Perfect. Now activate the lever to lower the gadget trolley. closed for the second year. People say the zoo is going through tough times. How would I know? I'm just a simple man. Clock in and clock out. How long have you been working here? Long enough to teach you everything. Come on, move the trolley. This is the empty enclosure. To open the door, you need to insert your PDA into the enclosure terminal and select an enclosure. and dump the food in the feeding area. Put on the MFE. What's that? Mobile Fecal Extractor. In simpler terms, a shit sucker. You've eaten shit before. <laughs> now you're go going to get I don't know. Why do we need all this? We need to constantly the health of the animals. And taking excrement for tests is one of your key tasks. A hundred thousand a year, Paul. A hundred thousand fucking American dollars. You just have to collect the shit. Come on, Paul. Don't chicken out. TIS to avoid unnecessary question. Thermal imaging system. You can just call it a thermal imager. It's needed to determine the body temperature of our animals. Good. Now install it and measure the temperature of the giraffes.
some gadgets are still lying around on different rooms and storage rooms. When you're there, grab those too. As you can see, one of the giraffes isn't doing well. We a dart with Temperolax. It's a medication for normalizing the temperature of animals. By the way, it was developed by one of the local eggheads. Interact with the terminal and press the exit and closure button. In the terminal, you can check all the analysis. I right, take the trolley back to the train. Well, I can make some okay. well, you studied chemical technology in Indiana. You'll manage. Damn. How do you know all this? Trust me, it's not something worth being surprised about here. But I barely lasted six months there. Got kicked out in the first year. No worries. That should be enough to mix a couple of ingredients in a ready-made formula. <laughs> Congratulations, Paul. You've just come closer to success and the well-being of your family. Now, go and load the collected fecal matter into the biomaterial receiver. Don't carry anything into the car. Everything must be stored. And don't forget to put the shit on your You need to load the trolley into the train. To do this, press the lever inside the car. Excellent. Now, this is our mobile vet station. To make Temporalax, you need to load the station with enough vials. I did it this time, but in the future, you'll have to gather the vials yourself to cook it up. But keep in mind, chum, there are not so many vials. Think twice before using them. Perfect. Now take cool. You've got Temporalax. Now load it into the gun. It's in the gadget trolley. Good. Now the only thing left is to start the sick giraffe. The sick giraffe ball. Be careful. Everything went smoothly. I did this for the first time. Hopefully, he'll get better soon. Well. 